at the shoes! Hey everybody, Tony George, DocSports.com, along with Rafael Esparza here, former director of the Aria Sportsbook, and this one here, it is on my list of questions, I just thought I'd ask him, because something that's becoming very popular right now in sports betting is in-game wagering. Specifically, and I make a ton of dough doing this as the game unfolds, betting the halves, the first half or the second half, Tell the folks the advantages of betting the sports half, the first half of the sports bet versus the entire game. Oh, it's easy. I mean, if you have, let's say, in baseball, first five innings, if you see the pitchers, you don't like the bullpen that's going on, maybe the bullpen played a lot of innings the game before, why not jump on that first half or first five innings? In football, maybe weather's coming in, you could just bet the first half. Or these big spreads with Alabama, why would you want to take minus 39 when you can take a lower number in the first half? Because they may be resting their players in the fourth quarter. Bet the first half. Tell you what, folks, it works a lot, especially, you know, in the NBA, for instance, where you have a team, let's say Golden State's playing Phoenix, and it's at Phoenix and they're laying 12, which is not uncommon. But the one thing you notice about these sports teams, these really good teams, they come out, they get up big early, and then in the second half they become complacent, uh, almost to the point of being bored. And they end up winning by nine, but you lay, lay 12, and they're up by 15 at halftime. And the first half line, by the way, instead of laying 12, you were laying maybe seven, seven and a half. There's a huge advantage oh, yeah. in that. It's, yeah. It's, it's just, again, it comes to money, money management right there. You see a better number, bet the better number. Yep. And also, especially in the NFL and in football, sometimes you have the ultimate surprise. You see some, somebody come out of the gate heavily favored, and they just go out there, and they're just like a dog turd to cantaloupe patch for the first half. Then, you know, you get a halftime line, but maybe they're laying seven or eight in the first half. You see the halftime line where they're playing badly, and they're only laying two or three, maybe three and a half, and that's the better team that you bet up front. It's worth taking a look at that halftime line with those and teams. make sure you find out who's getting the second half kickoff, because that's huge. If you can get a touchdown or three points right away in the second half, you're up already. Sports Betting 101, Doc Sports. Thanks for tuning in. Be sure and get over to the website. Put the link in the description below. More free plays and free information to help you make better decisions.